Oh, yeah. Okay. Today, we're going to be replacing the on off switch. Yeah, that's right. With a new, a new on off switch. I picked up from uh, Memphis Equipment Supply. Uh, what happened was, uh, since I bought the truck, the switch has been a little iffy. Um, I'll turn it on, it'll cut out. I have to kind of hit it back and forth to get it to, go, to stay on. Uh, that wasn't an issue uh, until I took it out for a run. Pulling into a parking lot, the truck just died. Fortunately, it was mostly in the parking lot. So I was thinking like, okay, now what? I noticed there was no power. And it's easy to tell when there's no power because I've got a little diesel parking heater on a 12 volt circuit. When that's out, I know the power's out. So this is the on-off switch. In order to get to the on-off switch, you have to, the on-off switch is usually right right here. In order to get to the on-off switch, first you had to pull the um, the ignition, hang that down, push that through, hang it down. Then we had to pull the uh, uh, light cluster control and push that through, hang that down. And then we could pull this out and get to the wires. Now, hopefully after all of this, I haven't messed up the wires. So I've been soaking these leads in some silicon because uh, this old rubber gets brittle with age. It's an easy enough replacement, one wire after another, using this little nub here, which goes through this hole in the dash. and kind of holds the switch in place. We can use this as a reference guide. So this one goes here, this one goes here, and so on around the, around the circuit. Okay, it came out and it looks to be in pretty good shape. Not seeing any corrosion. So that is the first one. Make sure that one goes in right. Yeah. Okay, get a little silicon on this thing. And we have contact. I mean, all of these connections look good on the old switch. So the problem probably wasn't a loose connection here. It wasn't a corroded connection here. The problem is likely in the switch itself. I see a little corrosion around the ring. Nothing that looks like I had serious water penetration. Now these wires themselves look to be in pretty good shape. Nothing that would really warrant the, uh, the uh, problems I was having. Okay, we line it up. Line that little nub up. And then we put the battery plaque back in place. It's got a little hole in it that lines up with that, that nub. And the locking ring. And the retaining nut. And it looks like it fits. This is what, five eighths, I think. Yeah, five eighths. Mini wrench. She's all locked in. Okay, there's the switch. This comes with a new retaining bolt. Yeah. Retaining bolt with a lock washer. I keep losing these things. Off, on, off, on. I'm not going to test the battery. I'm not going to test that switch until I get the whole thing back together to make sure I haven't fried any of these uh, connectors and don't push the turn signals light control back in there we go yeah. 
All right, now the problem I've been having with this ignition switch is it tends to turn the whole switch body. See, the uh, on-off switch has that little nub that fits in the hole. The starter switch also has a little hole, but the replacement ignition doesn't have a nub. This ring nut does not give enough tension to hold the assembly in place against the, uh, the force that I need to engage the key in the ignition. Found out that that little nub hole is threaded. And it's the same thread as the old, the old screw, the old bolt that went into the on-off switch nub. Keep working. Oh, okay. So there's a square nut on the other side of this uh, of this round nut uh, retaining ring, and um, this. If I can get this in here, that ring should catch this. Um, bolt on that on that little square nut catch the the, um, the tail end of this bolt and hold it keep it from turning yeah it looks like it's gonna work it's a simple mechanical method it also locks this ring into place and Oh, which one's the initial thing is. Let's see. Is that the ignition? Oh, there's the ignition. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holds it right in place. Beautiful. Couldn't be better. Fixed. All right. Let's test to see if the, uh, if it'll turn over. All right, starts right up. I'm thinking I might have a clock ejector or something. It's charging. Got a lot of rattling tools on this chip. Got a good charge. Air pressure's building. Fuel gauge working somewhat. Got good oil pre oil pressure. Just got that loping. We also have some water and gas, the water and the fuel. The saga continues. 